Hello everyone, my name is John Cassidy, and today we are touring the Arcade in downtown Cleveland, Ohio. The Arcade is a Victorian era structure of two nine-story buildings joined by a five-story arcade with a glass skylight spanning over 300 feet along the four balconies. Erected in 1890 at a cost of 875,000, 24 million in today's dollars, and opened on Memorial Day. It is identified as one of the earliest indoor shopping malls in the United States. Built by Detroit Bridge Co. run by Stephen V. Harkness and it was designed by John Eisenman and George H. Smith. The arcade is one of the few remaining arcades of its kind in the United States. It was modeled after the Galleria Vittorio Emanuele II located in Milan, Italy. The arcade comprises two nine-story towers with a skylight 100 feet high made of 1,800 panes of glass spanning over 300 feet. The construction was financed by John D. Rockefeller, Marcus Hanna, and Charles F. Brush, and several other wealthy Clevelanders of the day. The arcade is a cross between a lighted court and a commercial shopping street. The building is a complex of three structures. Two nine-story office buildings facing out to Euclid and Superior Avenues, connected via the five-story iron and glass enclosed arcade. The Richardsonian arched entrance of Hummelstone Brownstone along Superior Avenue is original, but the Euclid Avenue front was remodeled in 1939 by the firm of Walker and Weeks. The level of the Superior Avenue entrance is about 12 feet lower than the Euclid entrance, so that there are two bottom arcade floors, joined by the staircases at each end. Since Euclid and Superior Avenues are not parallel, a passage leads at a 23 degree angle off the Euclid entrance to a rotunda at the southern end of the arcade.
coming up here is the former food court of the mall, which I believe was added sometime in the 1980s. In 2001, the Hyatt Corporation redeveloped the arcade into Cleveland's first Hyatt Regency Hotel. The Hyatt Regency occupies the two towers and the top three floors of the atrium area. The two lower floors of the atrium area remain open to the public with retail merchants and a food court. In addition, the Hyatt lobby and offices are located near the Superior Avenue entrance. That same year, the skylight was also replaced.
documentary and tour of the historic Cleveland Arcade. Thank you all for watching, and please leave a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Thank you.